Hi everyone. I'm really excited to share something with you. So in 2019, I spent about six months illustrating a children's book. The book is called A Search for the Northern Lights. The authors are a parent-child team. The award-winning children's book author Elizabeth Roosh and her teenager Izzy. I got this job after the authors found me online. Something you might not know about me if you're new to my work is that in addition to all of my tree and forest paintings, I've done a lot of astronomical themed artwork in the past as well. This includes my Cosmic Dance series, which is a variety of fantasy outer space themes, and my Eclipse series, which is paintings of total solar eclipses. In 2017, we were lucky enough to be able to experience a total solar eclipse that was visible from the U.S. And I painted a whole series of solar eclipse paintings and ended up shipping them to a solo exhibit to be shown in an art center in Kentucky that was along the path of the eclipse. And <clears throat> my show was timed to coincide with the eclipse that summer. I was also able to drive a couple hours away from my home in Oregon and see the eclipse in person and I did get to experience totality which was incredible. So if you ever get the chance to experience a total solar eclipse you should. So the authors were looking for an illustrator for their book and they discovered my series of eclipse paintings and thought that I would be a good artist to represent their theme of the northern lights, the aurora borealis. So they contacted me and asked me if it was okay if they floated my name to the publisher. And I said, sure. Then I kind of forgot about it until many months later, the publisher contacted me and they had chosen me out of their list of possible artists. So I got the job. This just goes to show that if you keep working hard, keep creating, keep sharing your work with the world, sometimes it leads to delightful, unexpected things coming your way. So this being the first time I've illustrated a book, there was a big learning curve for me as far as the format to um, submit thumbnails and then sketches and then eventually the final artwork to the publisher. After tons of revisions and back and forth between me and the authors and the publishers. So this book is going to be printed 10 by 10 or 10 by 20 inches when the book is open. And because I wanted to get a certain level of detail when I was creating the artwork, I made the original paintings about 19 by 38 inches or almost four times bigger than what the print size is going to be. I painted them with acrylics on paper and finished with some details in ink. And I created 16 full spreads of artwork, plus the title and copyright pages and several pieces of spot art to be placed alongside the science info pages at the back of the book. This was a huge project. It took me about six months. So I shipped the originals to the publishers, West Margin Press, where they had high resolution scans made. And then their graphic designer combined my art with the author's words and put it all together into this beautiful book. Then there was this whole other round of back and forth until everyone on the whole team was totally satisfied. This project was so much fun and so challenging and I can't describe how exciting it was to see it, to see it all coming together over the course of months and months. And the reason that I'm talking about this today is that I just received my advanced reader copy from the publisher. The book um, won't be printed for the public until April 14th. So until then, I only have this one copy for myself. So here's um, the blurb that describes the book. The Northern Lights, also called auroras, are gorgeous displays of color that illuminate the night sky. Inspired by the author's own experiences and rendered in stunning color paintings, a search for the Northern Lights brings the reader along on a parent-child journey as they learn about auroras and how to find them and marvel at the many wonders of nature. A helpful guide is also included for those hoping to catch their own glimpse of the incredible Northern Lights. So I don't want to give away too many spoilers and 
I'm not supposed to show you too much of the finished book before it's printed. So I'll just show you like a few little sneak peeks. I have to say this book is beautiful. I couldn't be more pleased. Out of convenience, I ended up using myself and my eight-year-old daughter as the models for the two characters. And the book is full of little Easter eggs, like the car they drive is a Subaru, like the one that I used to drive. The girl's phone and laptop are the same ones that my daughter actually uses. The stuffed animals in her room are ones that we actually have. And even little things like the house plants are my own house plants. The intended audience for this book is elementary school aged kids. My kids are 10 and 8. And when they saw this book, when it arrived in the mail, they were totally enthralled. They sat down with it and read the whole thing cover to cover. So I hope that other kids are going to have that reaction too. It's going to make a great gift for kids, so keep that in mind. If you have any children in your life who love space or science or nature, it gives a guide for how to see the aurora borealis yourself in person so it's especially great for anybody who has that on their bucket list you can pre-order this book now through my website if you want a signed copy co signed by me or you can pre-order it an unsigned copy from amazon and barnes and noble at any time but those pre-orders won't ship out until april just search for the title a search for the northern lights and I'll put all the links in the description too. So thanks for letting me share this exciting project with you. I just, again, I'm just so very thrilled and can't wait until April when this hits the stores. And again, you can pre-order it now if you want a copy. Thank you, bye.